Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Caroco again and here is another question from my student in Udemy and this is from Dan and he asked me about the spaces versus the calculation objects okay, he said hello, when and where should I use calculation objects or spaces? is there a real benefit in using one or the other? thanks and I replied, Dear Dan, you can use calculation objects if you want to check the lax value on that object, like whiteboards in classrooms, tables in offices, cash counters in supermarkets, or vertical racks in warehouses. Calculation in spaces, on the other hand, is the automatic calculation surface of a room. You can use this automatic calculation plane to check the overall result in the whole room, like the whole office, stock room, kitchen, etc. And the difference between the two is the first one is very specific, while the other one is very general or it covers the whole calculation. So the benefits of using the calculation object is you will know how much lax value is in a very specific area. Some consultants want to see the lax value only on the table and not on the whole room. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. So again, if you want a calculation surface on the object, yes, you can find it very easily what is the lax value, for example, in a whiteboard or in the table. And if you want to calculation surface, the automatic one inside the room is that is for the overall. And you can find the values for the whole room, not on the specific object. So why, it's, why it is important? Because you want to know if there's enough light on the whiteboard. And you want to know if there is a 500 lux on the table. And you want to know if there is a very good uniformity in the whole room. So those are the functions of this calculation surfaces. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. Don't forget, enroll in my Udemy courses if you want to learn more about the Dialux Evo software and other softwares about lighting design and also about the general of lighting design. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn more about these calculation surfaces, I also created a lot of videos about it. You can check this one, two, three, four, five, six videos about how to use and what to do about these calculation surfaces. Okay, see you again on the next video.